Welcome to Groom Pimans Reviews. Today we're looking at the Bissell Spin Wave Hard Flow Cleaner. At the time of recording, I picked this up for £125. Normally it sells for around £150. Link in the description box if you're interested. I've also reviewed the Bissell Cross Wave and other hard flow cleaners. I'll leave a pop-up card and a link in the description box if you want to watch them videos. Remember, if you find this video useful, a like would be appreciated and subscribe to watch more reviews. On with the video. This is everything that was included inside the box of the Bissell Spin Wave. You get some paperwork, you get two years guarantee with this. Get a small sample solution, multi-surface, cross wave and spin wave. You get two sets of pads, but from my understanding there were supposed to be two different ones for delicate flow and then of course these are for scrubbing. For some reason I've got both the same ones. I will advise you if you do have proper hard wood flooring in, do not use these pads. You are able to get spares from Amazon or Bissell. There is a cordless spin wave, but for some reason that's not available in the UK. It's only available in USA. I have searched on um, Google and it did show that I can't get one imported over, but I don't know how the guarantee is going to work on that. So I thought I'll best keep away from that. Pads to remove them, you just pull them off. And once you've finished cleaning, you could chuck these in the washing machine. To put them back on, they just go on like that. How this works, solution comes out the front and then these pads spin and clean the floor but it doesn't pick the actual solution up but it's in your control how much solution you want to dispense either a lot if the floor is dirty or less if it's not dirty and then of course it will dry up accordingly it does have a nice big size from there so it should cover a larger area you tilt it back it says the swivel a bit of bristle branding the color is the same as the cross wave the water bottle it's got some bristle brand in there as you can see it's got a cup at the top you twist that to open it put the water in and solution and it's got some guides there as well so if you're in a small area or a large area and it's letting you know how warm the water could be as well make sure you don't put boiling water in put the water in put the solution in twist the cup back on give it a little shake and then put it back in that's the handle let me just move this up. Need to do a little bit of assembly. That will obviously only go in one way, like so. So you hear it click. At the back, it's got a sticker there, and it does have a nice long cord. Cord hook at the bottom, and one at the top. You can see there. Cord hook goes down. It's got the buttons there. That's your power on off button and that's the spray button to let the solution out from the front. Quite basic. Looking forward to using this. Okay, what I'll do is I'll fill the bottle up, put some solution in and then we'll go and clean some floors. Okay, I've put some water and solution in. Let's give it a go. And again, the amount of solution I let out, that's how wet the floors will stay, of course. But I haven't let much out, so this will dry in a few minutes. Let's just have a look at the pads. Just from that little area there, look at the pads. They've picked up a lot of dirt. Now, this floor has not been cleaned for over a week because I knew I was going to get this machine and I thought I'll give it a proper test. I did use the genuine Bissell solution, but there's no reason why you can't use any other solution. As long as you follow the guide on the actual bottle, you're okay. It is a bit time consuming cleaning with this 
it's easier on laminate because obviously that's more smoother. But it depends what type of flooring you have. On this flooring with these pads, it is a bit time consuming. There you go, that with the Bissell spin wave. Overall thoughts, build quality is really good. Cleaning performance is good, as you've seen. Just that little area, the pads were really dirty, so it did a good job in cleaning the actual floors. Solutions got to play a part in that as well. I did have the water up to about 40 degrees. The floors dry fairly quickly. Then again, that's up to you how much solution you let out. If you're elderly or if you have any arthritis, this machine is not for you. It does take a bit of getting used to. It's a bit difficult. The machine wants to go forward and if you want it to go to left, you're having to pull on it and you could feel that in your arms. The machine is time consuming because it doesn't have a speed. I wish there was a speed where you could increase and decrease the speed. Here you only have one speed and you've got to go according to that. And if your floors are really dirty, you've got to go over and over again, which will take you a lot of time. But on the other hand, it's easy. Once you finish, you just take the pads off, chuck them in the washing machine, done. With the Bissell Crosswave, once you finish cleaning your floors with that, you have to clean the machine, like wash the brush, wash the filter, wash the bin. Oh, it's time consuming on both sides. So let me know if you have one of these, what you think of them. In my opinion, I'd recommend this, but it's 50-50. If you want a quick cleaning job, then this isn't for you. That's the reason I bought it. I thought I could do quick cleaning. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, do give it a thumbs up. Do consider subscribing for more reviews. Link in the description box below if you want this. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.